There's a, a bunch of different ways to break ALS down into subtypes. Probably the most important way, in my opinion, is to break it down into the causes of ALS, which I know we're going to talk more about later. But in general, there's two categories of ALS broken down that way, familial ALS or genetic ALS, where there's an abnormal gene that a person's born with that's causing their disease, and sporadic ALS, where we can't find any disease-causing gene. But people also break it down sometimes into which type of motor neuron is most obviously affected. So I told you that ALS involves both upper and lower motor neurons, but there's sort of a spectrum of this disease. So at one end of the spectrum are the subtypes that affect mostly or even exclusively upper motor neurons. And, and when that type of ALS affects the whole body, we call it actually PLS, primary lateral sclerosis. When it just affects the bulbar muscles, we call it pseudobulbar palsy. And then on the far other end of the spectrum, there's subtypes that affect mainly or exclusively lower motor neurons. And again, when that's widespread, we call it progressive muscular atrophy or PMA. And when it's just in the bulbar muscles, we call it progressive bulbar palsy. Now, the thing is, in my experience, these are all subtypes of ALS. You know, if you, if you follow people long enough and you study them closely enough, most all of these presentations eventually turn into full-blown ALS.